Okay, this is a bit of a impromptu boxing, mainly because I've got to go down and get some batteries for this. But this arrived today. Something I wasn't particularly going to buy, but uh, once I saw it, I thought, yep, this is definitely a, a must-have. So let's just have a look here. If you're a fan of Transformers and Knight Rider, well, they've been doing a series of movie vehicles and Transformers. So Ghostbusters, uh, Back to the Future, and obviously Knight Rider. The other ones are cool too, but this was a must have. The first thing I notice is it's incredibly light. The box is much smaller than I expected. Now it does feel a little bit hefty, but here we have Agent Knight combination again of Transformers and uh, Knight Rider. If you're not familiar with that it was a, a cool TV series in the 80s that people of my generation grew up with which is absolutely awesome. And this is what I've got to go down and get so I'll go down and pop these out and we'll do the rest of the unboxing once I've got that done. I'll just have a quick stare before I do. This evidently is one of the first Transformers in this uh, brand or uh, toy line that actually has lights and sounds. And I'm a sucker for the flashy lights, as I've said before. And uh, Glenn A. Larson was actually the one that designed these originally on Battlestar Galactica. I'll put all those in. I think I've got all the ones here. So yeah, the scanner has influenced many of us. I still would like a pair of sunglasses that do this too. Still looking for a pair. But this is awesome. If you look there. I'm not quite sure why it wasn't called Night Rider or Kit. Sorry, Night. Uh, what was that? Night Industries 2000. I think it was. We've even got the, the original car back style, 40 years anniversary. This is what I remember growing up. You had a little red plastic uh, thing that would reveal the power structure of, of the robot there. It's very, very cool. This is uh, based off a of Pontiac Trans Am from America. But yeah. I'll go down and get those batteries and we'll do this unboxing probably in a couple of days. Cheers. Nostalgia bugs hitting hard. This is the 40th anniversary of Transformers, evidently. So they've been bringing out some cool stuff, and evidently they've been doing a crossover series, which we can see here. So uh, different movie franchises. So there's also a Back to the Future DeLorean, which is awesome, and the Ghostbusters Ecto-1, the the big white Cadillac. I had no idea this was going on. I've been happy with my Soundwave KO and my vintage Jetfire. That's that's all I needed. But yeah, that's what I thought. And then they bring out Knight Rider as a Transformer. So the LEDs actually work too. And the big flashy LED things that I keep talking about. Yeah, I'm a sucker for it. So I had to buy it. It's a really cool replacement for my Kenner one, which is one of my first videos on this channel. So... We'll go ahead and open it up. I think I just opened the boxing video at the beginning of this vid too because it was an experience just seeing one of these again. It felt like a kid for a, a couple of seconds. It was crazy. We've got the vintage artwork on the box. And this is Agent Knight. He's not Kit. This Kit is his own thing, obviously. But uh, I might call him Kit just out of habit. And he's an Autobot, which is nice. These are the batteries you're going to need. You're going to need three. Odd numbers drive me crazy, but if that's what it's got to be. And there's the logo. There's a ton of cars they could bring out now. Obviously, the evil car, K-A-R-R, -R, 
they could do with just the silver two-tone paint. I am the night automated roving robot, the first in a bold new experiment. You may call me Carl. They could do the flag semi, obviously, the uh, Autobot robot, like an Optimus Prime style. That's basically done already. <laughs> The Dukes of Hazard. Hit it, Bo. Ain't that pretty? You're hanging there like that. Hardcast on the Cormac, the Comet. I think it was the Comet, a Coyote. So many cars, really good movie cars. Even the horror cars as well, like Christine. That would be so. This is the first one with uh, elec electric or electronic noises and voices for this scale. There's tons of different scales. I don't keep up with Transformers, except for Metroplex. I've been close a couple of times. I love that guy too. So if you have a look up here, we've got this, the basic transformation, which looks amazing. It looks like he's styled after Michael Knight which is the protagonist that drives around with him. So he's got his blue jeans on. He's, even his face structure kind of looks similar. Excited. Now some people have complained that this little part here, which is the area for the electronics, it's too chunky and big. And I understand where they're coming from. They could have removed it completely and it would be nice if they had a detachable style for the option for people that don't like it. I don't mind it at all because in the actual TV show, it was actually a couple of trailer bars or hitch bars that would be sitting here for the movie rig, if you saw that closely. If you want a lot more detail on the, the cars and whatnot, go to Knight Rider Historians. They're actually re rebuilding the original semi-truck they found at the rig, the truck. They've already got one of the movie cars. So yeah, check them out. They're really, really good. And here on the back, now this popped out because I took the tape off. I haven't actually opened it because I didn't want it ripping the, the print. So you have a look. Generation X, you'll be familiar with this. This is all pretty much from what I remember. Except obviously you've got the 40 years anniversary here. The only thing I would have liked about this would be maybe a, a little bit longer description. And you'll know you had that red cellophane, cellophane piece, the red sticker thing. It would show you his different outputs and powers. I've still got mine from my vintage one somewhere. So yeah, I would never cut this out, but you would back in the day for coupons and for uh, other Transformers. One of them was a wristwatch, I think. Terrible, but yeah, it was an option. Very cool. And on this side, it's basically another standing pose. His gun looks like Optimus Primes. I'm not quite up on my uh, weapons for Transformers, but it looks kind of similar. He's very cool. He's also talking to his wristwatch too, which Michael Knight in the TV series. I'm pretty sure I've got edits on B-roll I'm putting in as well here. He would talk to Kit. Kit, where are you? I'm in your parking space, Michael. Where else would I be? Meet me at the main building. Something's up. Very well. If you look up here, you can actually see the Knight Rider logo in the back. It's <laughs> so nice. Uh, you got me nostalgia in Hasbro. So good. All right, so let's go ahead and open him and see how we do. Oh, he speaks in English only, unfortunately. David Hasselhoff, the actor, he has a massive following in Germany, evidently, for music as well. Instructions, which I'll need. Warranty stuff and warnings. Legalese. 
bits and bobs. Pop those back in the box. That's it, simple box. The star of the show. It's got the background, which was the uh, the intro to the TV show where he's coming across the desert. There's something in the background here. Oh. I think it actually comes with batteries. Look at that. I think they're Oh no, they're not batteries. I'm an idiot. That's the guns. It's got a nice Autobot wrapping there. Isn't that cool? I'll trim this so I uh, don't wreck it. Little details here. It's got a good weight to it as well. This is based off a of Pontiac from America. Pontiac Firebird, I'm not quite sure about that, but yeah. It looks pretty damn good. Very close. So we've just got to figure out how we open this. Okay, tape. we have him straight out of box impressions this doesn't look as bad as I thought but I do understand where everyone's coming from it is a bit chunky it does have the Autobot insignia down there which is nice it's very finely detailed in the front here it's very nicely done now the windows remind me of the blue Kenner windows would it look better black to hide all the mechanisms? Maybe. That's really up to you, I guess. Very nice. It's even got the sides here. Very beautifully done. Even the wheels, very accurate. Look at that. Pontiac insignia. The tires aren't rubber, They're plastic. They've got a nice tread design on them. If you have a look under here, we see the robot. I'm not familiar with these type of car versions. I never really owned any. But we do have some batteries to put in, so we'll do that in a sec. We'll figure out how he transforms. It doesn't look too too bad at all. Very cool. If we look at the back. Now that's interesting. It's got the foundation symbol here from Knight Rider. Uh, usually it's got a blue plate from California from America from the 80s. And the original kit does not have the red brake lights like this. It's actually all blacked out. I'm not sure why they chose to do that. Interesting choice. I do like this logo though. Uh, hopefully they do do the semi truck, the flag foundation law and government or something I can't remember exactly what it's called I've already got fingerprints all over it unfortunately she'll have to forgive that if you have a look too yep it rolls it is on carpet but those those arms do you can see they do hinder it a little bit there they really do droop down Yes, let's have a look. Got some cool poses. This is taking me back to the 80s. Sound options, which we'll go through once I put all that on. Oh, this is nice. The pop up headlights work. Okay. And the guns can be hidden under the body as well, which is nice. It's nice when your robots can carry all their weapons in some function. Holy... Okay, that's a lot. It's 22 steps. That 
that's not really the the four that I was showing here, is it? Alrighty. But before we do that, let's just have a look at the weapons. And somehow these pop up. I guess you just I don't have any fingernails. I'm not sure if they're joined together or they're separate. Oh, oh, there we go. The design is really, really nice. They're solid. They're not difficult to get up. Yes, yeah, so that's really cool if you like that. Obviously, I prefer them down. This car looks so modern back in the 80s. They still look good today. Beautiful cars. All right, let's have a look at the weapons. Looks like he has two. He does have two. No, three. Oh, I think this is the wristwatch. <laughs> That's adorable. Can he? I'll just set those down. So I'm not familiar with these. They may be reuse in other Transformer packages. I wouldn't doubt it. It's not a problem. Nice pistol. That's cool. Nice design. Reminds me of a Star Wars blaster for some reason, but I dig it. Very nice. Here we have a the rifle, laser rifle. It does look like Optimus. Okay. You can't see it, it's cut out. They probably all come with something similar anyway, but yeah, it's a it's a nice looking weapon. No extra detail on it, it's just straight molded. Very nice looking. And this piece is going to be uh, easily lost, I'm sure. This is the wristwatch. And I think I've popped this up, or I've already said I will too. That's a nice little touch. That's very cool. Okay. Oh, okay. There's a couple of tiny little slots that you can put your guns in, I'm guessing. That's what these are for. Yeah, that's one. Nice, satisfying click in there, too. It would have to be if they're sitting underneath. So that's caused me a little bit of trouble, Michael. to get close up on that one. My eyes are terrible, but that's what it looks like. They do stick out a little bit there, but what are you going to do? For display, that's perfect. Very nicely done. And they don't come off either, but yeah, you probably wear them out. I wouldn't recommend it. For me, it's just a display model. It's so goddamn cool. Very, very cool. This lights up. Okay. So we need to transform him. I'm not sure if I can do this, but you also need three A76 batteries and a precision screwdriver as well. Let's get in there. So we'll get that done in a sec as well. wristwatch is going to get lost easily. I suggest putting that in a Ziploc bag instantly. Okay, 
house on the other side. So that's just the instructions to install the batteries. And there's the button there to turn it all on. It's a very nice touch. Okay, I'm procrastinating because I really don't want to try this, but let's try it.
this bit was difficult. <laughs> you just push down on it. Just felt like it wasn't going to go, even though it is in the instructions. So there we go. Okay, so we got him transformed. He's a little bit top heavy. I really had to fight the waist. You've really got to force it in there, unfortunately, which makes me uncomfortable. But yeah, he does pose in all the right spots. He's got some great hip poseability there. Knees, feet with a bit of angle. Just like my uh, sound wave from KO. His head looks great. Kind of looks like David Hasselhoff, which is strange. He's got some beautiful lenses in there as well. It's a great head sculpt. I really do like the look of that. Arms, it's got some good movement. Fists, bicep, shoulder, if you want to call it that. The blue jeans, very cool. So yeah, besides this part here, I mean, yeah, it is very weighty. A detachable option would be good. Oh, I just noticed too, it bends this way as well, which is nice. 
and you see the little slot here for the wristwatch if it's coming up. Let's remove this one. Oops. I can see these getting lost. Get him into the repair bay. And I just clipped it back in so it's much tighter now. You've just really got to push it. So yeah, so it's not broken, it's fine. Just trying to pose it, it just popped out of the ball joint, which is good rather than breaking something. So yeah. Anyway. Okay, so there we have Agent Knight. We'll put the electronics in and see the showstopper, the LED scanner, the piece that we all love. So yeah, we'll be back in a tick. Just the scanner personally. Oh, you sure this is the right way? Very well. Thank you, sir. I am the voice of Night Industry 2000 microprocessor. K I T D for easy reference. Kit, if you prefer. So he's called Kit there, but it's actually Age at Night, so that's a little bit weird. Hold on, this could be a bit bumpy. It makes sense that Kit turned into a Transformer rather than a Transformer turning into Kit. I'll just hold that down and see what happens. So you can have the scanner on just by itself. I'm pretty sure it has a time delay, so it does turn off. Look how small it is and it works. I was so close to getting one of those Hot Wheels USB Night Riders, which had an LED scanner, but uh, yeah, I tried to keep away from it, which I did, but yeah, it's a transformer that turns into a, a Night Rider, sorry, that turns into a transformer. It's awesome. So we'll transform him back into the car and we'll see what he looks like in that mode with the tr uh, with the scanner that's so cool and obviously we know that this comes from uh, the led scanner from battlestar galactica and he just transferred over to this this is why I imprinted on a <laughs> generation it's just awesome yeah they knocked it out of the park with this one he looks really good All right, let's transform him back. See if I can turn this off. Okay, there we go. Let's have a look at the scanner mode. Pressing this button in.
Here we go. That's Agent Knight. Yeah, it's a perfect nostalgia buy. You've got Transformers and you've got Knight Rider in one. If you don't have a kit car, well, this is probably the one to get. It's got everything you need. The only thing it's missing is maybe a small Michael Knight standing next. next oh, excuse me. A small Michael Knight standing next to him there would, say, would look really, really cool for a display. So maybe another vendor could make that. But that's the only thing I could think that it's missing. Other than that, it's beautiful. I'm really happy with this purchase.